Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Perfection Achieved. I'm Chef Joey Prats. Sa mga followers namin, um, I apologize, medyo nawala ko for uh, a few weeks. It's because uh, me and my partner survived COVID-19. So that's why I want to remind everybody to be extra careful. I know we're all being extra careful, but still, take that, you know, extra step because itong virus na to, it is very infectious, especially with the new variants coming out. Um, they say it's airborne and it's, it's more powerful, it's more um, <clears throat> contagious. So be extra careful because once you have it, I'm telling you, it is not a stroll in the park. It, we experienced two horrific weeks, to say the least, of um, debilitating symptoms. And we are just very lucky that our immune systems were able to combat the, the virus and uh, you know we, we survived and uh, we're now well and we're now negative so we're very thankful to god for that and we're back so uh for our welcome back episode we're doing a savory recipe para may iba naman because we've been doing a lot of desserts diba so for today we're doing um a recipe that i am very very fond of my mom used to cook this for us when we were kids it's called chili con carne chili con carne but i'm putting beans into it diba tayo mga pinoy were very used to having our chili con carne with beans but classic chili con carne does not contain any beans it's just the, the meat part okay but i love chili con carne because it's such a versatile recipe which you can serve with rice you can serve it on its own with uh, a hot crusty bread or you can even use it as a topping for hot dogs to make chili dogs. So, and daming uses and daming applications for chili con carne. So, I'm sure you're very excited about this. So, please for the new uh, for the new viewers, I would like to remind you to please like, share and subscribe and please hit that notification bell but every time we have a new video that we upload you are notified right away all right so let's get underway so for this recipe which is actually in the description box you can um, see the recipe there you can cut and paste it into uh, your computers para you can save the recipe and just come back to the video every time you need to see the step-by-step -step procedure okay so um, we're you're going to need a pot a big pot this is a uh, moderately big batch this will serve about eight to ten people okay it's a nice recipe to have because to make because you can store this in your fridge for up to a week or even freeze it for up to three months so it's nice to have in your you know in your fridge or freezer as a uh, an instant ulam maybe for your kids for your family or maybe if, if you go on picnics then you can take this along also okay so you need a big pot let's turn our stove on let's do medium low heat there Okay, so we're going to need some vegetable oil. You don't normally see me cooking savory foods, diba? But I do savory foods as well. Sabi nga ng mom ko, sobra kong expensive magluto ng savory foods because I use like the finest ingredients. Even for what you call uh, yung pang araw araw na meals. <clears throat> Well, uh, you know naman may paniniwala, may, may mantra, di ba? Na parang life is short, so you have to live every day as if it's your last day. Don't skim, don't make tipid when it comes to food, okay? Food is one of those things that you should not make tipid. Okay, so I'm swirling this para the oil coats the entire bottom of the pot. So once your oil is hot, we're going to cook our onions, bell pepper, and garlic. Now, I hate garlic. It's, that's a, uh, you know, everybody knows that. That's, a, that's common knowledge. But I'm going to put garlic here because uh, a lot of other people will be enjoying this dish later on. Um, 
I cooked my special batch without garlic for me yesterday, so it's set aside. So I can see that my oil is now starting to smoke. That means uh, it's hot and we're ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to cook is my onions. So onions, we have some uh, green bell pepper, which has been chopped. So you can chop your vegetables finely, like mine here, or you can make them more chunky. It depends on how you like your chili con carne. So I have my onions and bell pepper, and then I'm going to add the garlic. And then we're going to cook this for about three minutes to five minutes to sweat the vegetables. Okay, we want the the onions to be translucent. We want it to start, um, you know, drawing out liquid and start to caramelize and you know develop flavors. So when you're cooking, each step of the cooking process, you're developing flavors, layer after layer of flavors, and that's how you get a dish that is truly, truly memorable and really, you know. Uh, very intense. So I'm going to cook this for about three to five minutes. All right, so the vegetables have been cooking for about three minutes or so. And um, you cook it until the vegetables are tender and are sweated, but they should not be brown. If it's starting to brown, that's fine as long as, you know, the vegetables don't turn really brown. Now, the next step is for you to add your ground meat. So we're using here some ground beef. So our ground beef is 20% um, fat, 80% lean. Okay, so when you go to your butcher or to the market, you just tell your, um, uh, your butcher to give you ground beef that is 80% lean, 20% fat. That's very important because if you don't say that, they give you yung, yung maraming taba. Okay, so when you cook your meat, mapapansin niyo na maraming fat coming out. So it's all taba. Okay, so you have to be very knowledgeable when you go to your, when you buy your ingredients. So we cook this until the meat is cooked, which should take a couple of minutes over medium-high heat. Okay, so next we're going to add our canned tomatoes. So we're using here some chopped canned tomatoes. So you can use yung canned whole tomatoes or meron din yung uh, uh, cut up tomatoes. No, So you can use the whole or the cut up tomatoes. It's the same. Any brand will do as long as canned tomatoes. Um, I know what you're going to ask. Pwede bang fresh tomatoes? Yes, kaya lang. It's so hard to find yung plump, red, sweet tomatoes um, you know, in the supermarket or even in, in the market. So that's why I use canned tomatoes to make the end product more consistent. No? Because you gotta have consistency when you cook. So I have here another batch of canned tomatoes. Canned tomatoes, you're assured na it's really nice, plump, and sweet. Every time you cook, you'll get the same consistent results. A little bit of tomato paste. Yeah. This helps, uh, you know, improve the color of your chili con carne. Make it a little bit more darker. And of course, enhance the flavor. So let me mix this one first. Very hard to find a recipe for chili con carne that's really, you know, super good. So it's a good thing my mom gave me her magic notebook before she left for the U.S. with all her fantastic recipes that um, me and my brothers enjoyed when we were kids. 
Once you've mixed this through, we're now going to add what makes this chili con carne, which is chili powder. So I've got some chili powder here. You can, if you find the quantity medyo, you know, really spicy, you can always subtract. Or if you find it kulang, then you can add. So you got some chili going. For me, the more chili, the better. I love the spiciness of chili. It's not called chili con carne for nothing. But a little bit of salt and pepper. So the amount of salt and pepper in the recipe down there in the description box is um, just the right amount for me and for my staff here. We, we did a taste testing of this. And uh, if, you, if you find that you need more salt, then please go ahead by all means. If you find it's too much, then you know you can reduce it. So the salt and pepper, that you can vary to your own personal preference. Wow, this is really, really nice and thick. So I'm adding my beef stock. Now when I cook this for me and my family, I add half a bottle of red wine because you know it really improves the, the flavor profile of this dish. But of course, if you're not into alcohol, then you can omit that. So I'm going to give this a good mix through and then I'm going to add the last ingredient, which is the beans. Okay, so I have here, this one is red kidney beans, but you can use other kinds of beans like pinto beans. I love pinto beans, but this one is your traditional classic red kidney beans, which we soaked overnight, soak it in water overnight, and then the following day, um, boil it, boil it until it's tender, okay? So, you can add as little or as much beans as you want. We're using 400 grams. And then we're going to give this a nice mix through. Okay, and that's it. We're going to simmer this now until the flavors are all developed. And it um, takes about 30, 45 minutes to simmer. Okay. So we'll simmer this for about 30 to 45 minutes over medium low heat and then partially covered. Okay. So I partially cover it so that the steam has a you know a vent to uh, to escape from. Alright, so when we come back, this will be done, and then I will show you how to serve this three different ways. Alright, in the meantime. Here's one of my classes at the Bailiwick Academy. Please watch this. Hello, I'm Chef Joey Prats. If you're a fan of barbecue baby back ribs, this class will blow your mind. I'm going to teach you how to make the most tender, juicy, fall off the bone, barbecue baby back ribs slathered and served with the most delicious Kansas City style barbecue sauce with two side dishes to boot, the perfect creamy mashed potatoes and a summer fruity coleslaw. And let's not forget dessert, a delicious blue ribbon, old fashioned bread pudding served with vanilla custard sauce. Only here at the Bailiwick Academy. Okay, so we're back. If you enjoyed the teaser trailer for my online class, uh, please click the link below so that um, you can visit my page at the Bailiwick Academy where you can find 30 fantastic classes um, you know, ranging from cookies to pies to cakes to savory recipes, you'll just enjoy. It's like a Disneyland for people who love to cook and bake.
okay so the link is below just click it and it will take you to the bailiwick academy all right so we are back and you know uh our chili con carne has simmered for about 30 or 45 minutes um i took the liberty of adding to our recipe some red wine so um i used merlot because that's the that's the only wine i have um in stock right now i added 250 grams of wine to this it's an optional thing you don't have to add it if you're not into alcohol um, it's not even in the recipe below it's just a personal touch of mine so if you like to put wine go ahead 250 grams for one of uh, one recipe all right so this is the finished consistency of our chili con carne with beans all right so if you like it thicker you just simmer it more so that it will dry up but for me ito yung perfect na consistency okay so there i'll teach you three ways to serve your chili con carne the first one being the classic way so you need a a bowl normally um you could serve this in a ceramic uh bowl with a handle so you can serve it this way this is quite a big portion okay and then this is served with two slices of toasted baguettes or french bread all right okay um you can add a touch of parsley to garnish all right but being pinoys i know a lot of you will be serving this over rice so rice that's the beauty about, you know, this recipe, chili con carne. You can do so many things with it. So for the rice lovers, you can serve it over rice. For the uh, purists, you serve it with crusty bread. And for those who like it over their hot dogs, you can make chili dogs. So normally I would, you know, suggest that you serve this over beef franks, frankfurters. But being a 70s kid, and this is a very nostalgic recipe for me since my mom used to cook it for us when we were kids growing up. I remember my elementary days. Um, so I decided instead of using beef frankfurters that I would go back to my childhood and use tender juicy hot dogs. So if you're a 70s kid like me, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so serve it over your hot dogs. A little bit of cheese on top. And there you have it. Chili con carne. Perfection achieved. Three ways. Classic, with rice, and over hot dogs. For the most fantastic chili dogs okay so i hope you enjoyed this uh episode of perfection achieved we're gonna have a lot more fantastic recipes coming in the next few episodes so do stand by keep posted to our channel and please don't forget to hit that notification bell um and of course subscribe to this channel if you're a new viewer this is chef joey pratt saying stay safe god bless you all and keep on cooking